Praise God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I greet you, church, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We are Sons of Thunder International. I'm Apostle Amos. Coming again with the word of encouragement. I love you. And I wish for you the best. Praise God. Yesterday we talked about the uh, the sower Jesus used a parable of a sower and we had a question saying which type of soil are you praise be the Lord Jesus which type of soil are you today we are going to talk about decision making or making a difference making a difference praise be the Lord Jesus uh, we saw that there were different types of soil, but there was that one that was good. And whoever chose to be the good soil, he got the exact, year, exact fruits as it was expected by the sower. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Remember the sower was and is still Jesus. The seed is the word of, of God. Jesus came with the word of God and the soil is a human heart so i don't know which type of soil you chose but i told you me and my family we chose and we are that good soil praise be the lord jesus i very much know that you are also that good soil uh today we are going to talk about making a difference like when you are choosing something have Something in mind that whatever I'm going to choose must make a difference in my life. Not in a negative way, but in a positive way. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Today we'll, talk, we'll see two characters. We'll talk about two human beings that are in the Bible. And they will help us to understand ourselves on which side we are. Is it a negative side? Or a positive side is it a bad decision or a good decision praise be the lord jesus uh today we'll talk about jacob and esau jacob and esau these were twins born by one mother one father and we want to see now uh how their choice was or how their choice were because everyone got his choice and was working towards the decision he made praise be the lord jesus uh we are going to read uh, genesis chapter 25 praise be the lord jesus genesis chapter 25 we'll start from verse 23 genesis chapter 25 we'll start from verse 23 someone is going to read for us prophetess read for us Hallelujah. But I think we will start it from 22. 22 to get it clear, it will be 22. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Uh, it will be Genesis starting from uh, chapter 25, starting from verse 22. We will go downwards and hear what God is saying. We want to see uh, Isaac got married to Rebecca when he was 40. But Rebecca could not give a child. She was childless. Then it took uh, Esau to pray to God so that he can change whatever was happening in his family. He prayed for a son. He prayed for a child. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to see uh, from verse 22. Genesis chapter 25 from verse 22 downwards we want to see that there are characters here in the bible they are there to teach us something they are there to train us something we have to have a decision but it must make a difference whatever decision you make in your life comes with a difference it may be a good difference or a bad difference but i urge you today my brother let the decision that you're going to make today come with a positive uh difference 
Let it bring good attitude. Hallelujah. Let us listen to what the Bible is saying. Be blessed. Genesis 25, 22 says, But the children struggled, struggled together within her. And she said, If all is well, why am I like this? So she went to inquire of the Lord. Je Praise the Lord. We are seeing that she was having, she, she became pregnant. But inside her were two children, meaning she was carrying twins. She didn't have any, any knowledge about being pregnant because this was her first pregnancy. But we are seeing that she felt like something was not good, something was uncertain inside her, that the children, the way they were behaving, wasn't that of good children, that something bad was happening. So instead of going to, to witch doctors, instead of going where, she thought of God. She said, let me talk to God. Let me ask God what is happening. So I want to hear. Uh, now we are seeing that there is a problem inside her. Amen. 23 says, And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two peoples shall be separated from your body. One people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. So when her days were fulfilled for her to give birth, indeed, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red. He was like a hairy garment, all over. So they called his name Esau. Afterward his brother came out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Isaac was six years old when she bore them. So the boys grew, and Esau was a skillful hunter, and a man of the field. But Jacob was a mild man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game. But Rebecca loved Jacob. Now Jacob cooked the stew, and Esau came in from the field, and he was weary. And Esau said to Jacob, Please feed me with that same red stew, for I'm weary. Therefore his name was called Edom. But Jacob said, Sell me a birthright as of this day. And Esau said, Look, I am about to die, so what is this birthright to me? Then Jacob said, Swear to me as of this day. He swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank, arose and went into and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Praise be the Lord Jesus. We have heard the story. There were two nations in one one whose womb. Praise be the Lord Jesus. The fight was too much, but we very much know that twins, they are always in common. They are having things in common, but these children were too parallel. These children were too parallel. These children were too parallel. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Amen. These children were too parallel. Everyone was doing his own. Everyone was fighting. We are seeing they were batting heads. Praise be the Lord Jesus. They were batting heads inside the womb. Praise be the Lord Jesus. When they came out, we are seeing Esau coming out with, he was reddish and he was full of uh, hair. He was hairy. Praise be the Lord Jesus. So his way of coming into the, uh, into the existence wasn't that a normal way. It wasn't in a normal way. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It wasn't in a normal way. Now, because of being with hair, he was named Esau, praise be the Lord Jesus, meaning the person with hair or something with hair or a hair skin, praise be the Lord Jesus. Then we are seeing Jacob holding the ankle, holding the leg of, the, of, 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 of Isaac because he was grabbing the head, the, the leg, the, so he was called Jacob. The name Jacob means grabber, praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The name Jacob means grabber. And the name Esau means someone who came with a, a, who was abnormal. Like he was hairy. So we are seeing, we are seeing, we are seeing Jacob fighting not only inside, but even coming outside. He wanted to pull his brother so that he can be the first in coming. Praise be the Lord Jesus. So the name Esau stands uh, uh, for hairy skin or Abnormal in coming, abnormal in nature.
praise be the Lord Jesus. Then Jacob, we are seeing him as someone who is a grabber. He's like taking something that is not his. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, they, are, they, they have been, they are born. They, they, are, they have grown up. Everyone chose what to do. Praise be the Lord Jesus. We are seeing Esau going hunting. And this hunting was, it was, it was like a game. So whenever he could catch, the father used to like the food, used to like the meat. But Jacob stayed in it, uh, the tents, started learning things that are supposed to be done. Praise be the Lord Jesus. So he, st he stayed there and he started learning to cook, learning to prepare nice things, learning to be ready even when you've not got anything. Praise be the Lord Jesus. We are seeing a decade when Esau came back without a, any catch. He didn't have any, any meat. He never caught an animal. So he came when he was tired and hungry. Praise be the Lord Jesus. You remember I talked about appetite last time. I talked about food. Food has made things bad. Food has taken us in the world that we don't understand. We have got too much appetite when they call you on a party, even if the party is for a pagan, even if the party is for someone who doesn't believe God, even if a, peg, a, a party is for the witch doctors, even if a party is for highway robbers, you will just go there because of the appetite, because of the love of food. So we are seeing Esau coming very hungry without any catch, and he found his brother had already finished preparing soup made of beans not even meat not even something like fish or what but made of beans praise be the lord jesus so he was hungry i said can you give me your soup i'm dying i'm telling you these brothers were not having things in common so instead jacob to give to give soup for him he decided to sell it to him selling to his brother hallelujah how are the church members taking you how is the community taking you how is your family members taking you we are seeing this jacob instead of helping the brother because they were not in common because they are not telling because they are not agreeing they, they, they had nothing in agreement so he decided to sell him the food remember the brother was hungry he was running all over Remember, he was hunting. Hunting is involves running, going here and there, moving place to place. The way I see, he could have tried. He would have tried many ways of getting, but he failed. He came weary. He was famished. He was famishing. He was like, "I'm dying." And lucky enough, he found his brother, the one that they were together in the womb, had already finished preparing food. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Then he came, expecting that the brother will give him. The brother will welcome his request. He said, my brother, I'm dying, Jacob. Can you give me soup so that I, can, I, I, I don't die? Then Jacob, from nowhere, he said, you have to sell me your birthright. I'm selling my soup. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Now, because Esau was brought in this world abnormally, because he was full of hair and reddish, that means something was missing. Praise be the Lord Jesus. We are seeing him saying, what is good with birthright? What is good with my rights? And by that time, Isaac had not yet been blessed. So he thought maybe Isaac would still be poor. So he thought maybe there was not, not going to be any right. Nothing was going to be inherited. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. My brother and my sister outside there. Then Esau released his blessing because of a mere single meal. And not any meal, but soup made from beans. You have sold your rights, you as a born again. You have sold your rights, you younger lady, you younger man outside there. Some people have taken into fornication. Some people have taken into adultery. Some people have taken into robbery, into, into killing, into doing a lot of stuff because of the just single meal. You have sold what was right to you. You have sold your rights. You were a blessed child. You were someone good in the presence of God. But because of appetite of food, because of uh, as the last, because of not controlling yourself, you have sold or you sold off what was good, praise be the Lord Jesus, what was given to you, so you sold it off. 
you you made a, a, a you made a decision that made a difference but in negative way remember you are a child of god he said all is well to you but because of the dance going to club you sell off your right because of a boy who has promised you to give you something like maybe shoes or clothes you sell off your birthright because of just a mere boozing alikaho you sell off your birthright because of rumor mongering you sell off your birthrights we are seeing for a single soup one meal Esau sold everything including the lineage of Christ Jesus hallelujah because it is in Jacob the line will go up to David up to Jesus so he's not written any, anymore. His records are not helping. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Because Esau was full of killing. We are seeing the great, great Herod. The great, great Herod. Who announced that every male child that is born in his, in his province or in his country should be killed. Because he was trying to eliminate the Savior Jesus. Praise be the Lord Jesus. He's coming in the lane of Esau. I want to show you something, that you will make one mistake, and the mistake will not only be to you, but even to your future, to your generation, to your children and, and the children of your children. Praise be the Lord Jesus. He made one mistake by releasing his blessing, by releasing his rights because of one soap. What is that that you have lost because of one soap? What is that you have lost because of one attempt? What is that you have lost because of one temptation? My brother and my sister outside there, it's our right to come back to our senses. He sold something that was good because of the soul. He sold his brother that I don't see any good from that right. Because he saw himself that the father was poor. The surroundings was not conducive for them to be rich. So the soap was now nice. And he sold, up, he sold his birthright to the brother. The brother remained with some soup and even he took the birthright. This is the brother who grabbed his, his leg when he was coming out from the mother's womb. Things did not end there. Check your, you, 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 the circle you're having. There are people who are always taking small things from you, grabbing things from you, challenging, challenging, challenging. Slowly, slowly, you will find yourself having nothing. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Jacob is fighting in the womb, yet he's the younger. He's the younger boy. Jacob is grabbing the, the leg because he doesn't want to stay in the womb and he wants to be the number one. Jacob is stealing the birthright. With, uh, that is what they call safety by trick. He's using cheap, cheap things to take what is good from the brother. Hallelujah. Praise be the Lord Jesus. We have sold our rights that God gave us by just bitter things. Someone is promising to buy you a phone. Then you sell off your right by sleeping with that person. Someone is, is, is telling that he will help you in education and is older than your mother. You sell off your right because of what he has, she has told you. Someone is telling you to go hang out, to chill out. You sell off, praise be the Lord Jesus, you sell off your right because of just uh, mere money, going to chill outside, going to uh, partying, praise be the Lord Jesus, because you are bored, you don't have even time to read the Bible, you don't have even time to do what is supposed to be done, so you are bored, when they tell you let us go chill outside, you go sell your birthright, praise be the Lord Jesus, when they tell you, hallelujah, when they tell you, do this, don't do that, praise be the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, what is that? that has taken your rights? What's that that has killed you? What's that that has taken whatever belonged to you? Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I urge you, my brother, it's high time we change. Because the decision you make, it may damage, it, it may damage what is supposed to be yours. And remember, any decision you make, it will come with a difference. But the difference may be negative or positive. I urge you today, I challenge you, Take a nice decision. Don't just be moved because of petty things. Know your, st know your stand. Know your position before God. Know your rights. And be patient. Be resistant. All will be well. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We are seeing Jacob stealing what was not his. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Now we are going to read in Genesis. Genesis 
chapter 27, we will read from 21. Genesis chapter 27, Isaac said to Jacob, Please come closer that I can touch you. Are you really Esau? Jacob moved closer to his father, who felt him and said, Your voice sounds like Jacob's voice, but your arm, your arms feel like Esau's arm. Praise be the Lord Jesus. He did not recognize Jacob because his arms were hairy like Esau's. He was about to give him his blessing. Praise be the Lord Jesus. When you read uh, Genesis chapter 27, verse 20, uh, Jacob said, uh, Isaac said, How did you find it so quickly, my son Jacob? Uh, Jacob answered, The Lord your God helped me to find it. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Jacob changed his name when we check on verse 19. Jacob answered, I am your elder son, Esau. I have done as you told me. Please steer, uh, sit up, eat some of the meat that I have brought to you so that you can give me your blessing. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Uh, the one writing you can write from Genesis chapter 27 from 19. We are seeing a Jacob is even lying to his father, is changing the name, is changing the identity. That's how Jacob was. He was too furious. He was a grabber. He used to steal. He used to take things by force, by tricks. I mean, he, that's how J Jacob was. That was the fight inside there. That's what made even to make them two nations with different characters, with different identities. Praise be the Lord Jesus. We are saying Esau was a negative character while Jacob was a positive and aggressive one. Praise be the Lord Jesus. There is someone around you. There is someone in your circle who is busy taking your rights, who is busy killing you, who is busy not wanting you to, you to prosper. But I want to tell you today, you can prosper if you understand your decision. If you take your decision wisely, you will be with a great difference and a positive one, not a negative one. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. My sister and my brother, there is something that is busy taking your blessing without knowing. It may start as a young thing. It may start very small. You may not recognize it. You may think he's a male friend. You may think he loves you too much. He loves you too much. You may think he's a boyfriend. You may think he's a girlfriend. You may think he's a sugar mommy. You may think he's a sugar daddy. You may think he's just a pal group. You may think he's just a, a, a team. You may think he's a colleague at work. You may think there are those people that are just coming in your life to destroy what you have, to destroy what belongs to you, to snatch what, what belongs to you, to take away your birthright, to take away all the rights that God gave you. Praise be the Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, Esau despised his blessing. Esau despised his, his birthright. Esau despised Everything that was good pray for him. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to tell you. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something, my brother. Let us check. When we read uh, Proverbs, I mean, uh, when we read uh, Hebrews chapter 12, starting from 16. Hebrews chapter 12, starting from 16. Let no one become immoral or unspiritual like Esau, who for a single meal, sold his rights as the older son. Afterwards, you know, he wanted to receive his father's blessing, but he was turned away because he could not find any way to change what he had done, even though in tears he looked for it. Praise be the Lord Jesus. He even looked, he even tried everything to get his birthright back, but it wasn't easy. It could not happen because he sold it. Praise be the Lord Jesus. What have you sold because of mayor single meal? What have you sold because of sex immorality? What have you sold because of witchcraft? What have you sold because of anger? What have you lost because of fightings? What have you lost because of rumor mongering? Cheating on your husband and your wife? Cheating, doing things that are not right and not, not attending to church? What is that that you have sold through boozing, taking of alcohol? Uh, what have you sold? Because of helping people in doing wrong things, 
What is that that you have lost? Esau lost his birthrights. Esau lost his, uh, his blessings because of a single man, a single meal. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. I want to challenge you today. Be resistant. Stand firm. Be courageous. Don't allow simple or major temptations to take away what belongs to you. God knows you. At appropriate time, he will see you through. At appropriate time, he will take you. He will carry you. He will exalt you. Esau did not plan for future. He used to hunt and kill. He did not preserve. He did not uh, have any reservation. He did not keep. He used not to save. What he, he used to eat whatever he got. Praise be the Lord Jesus. Then in time of missing to catch a meal, in time of missing to hunt an animal, he, used, he, he ended up so selling what was good to him. He despised what he was given. Praise be the Lord Jesus. We are seeing Jacob did not end there. When he ran for his life to Lebanon, he started grabbing the animals. He started changing colors. And he started taking many animals. And he became rich. He even feared of his cousin that something wrong will, will come. So he had to run. Praise, praise be the Lord Jesus. But I want to tell you, there is a time when he wrestled with an angel of God and his name was changed. I'm telling you, Jacob was not an easy person. He was too aggressive. How can you fight with a strange person? How can you fight with a foreigner? Praise be the Lord Jesus. When he saw this angel, he grabbed him. He started wrestling him. He said, I will not release you until you bless me. Unless you bless me, I will not release you. How did he not that this man was having a blessing? How did he not that this man was a unique person? How did he not that this was, was, not, was not a normal man, was an angel? That's how aggressive. That's how tactical he was. That's how clever he was. That's how he used to investigate things. So he saw that this man, the way he's walking, the way he's moving, his characters, this man is a, prom, a, 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 a blessing giver. So he grabbed him. He started wrestling him. All of a sudden, he said, unless you give me blessing, I will not release you. Unless they fought until it came to morning. So he, he, he was asked, what is your name? This question is coming the second time to Jacob. Praise be the Lord Jesus. His father asked, what is your name? Who are you? Then Jacob lied and said, I'm Esau. Because he wanted to grab the blessing. There are people who are changing their identities. They are calling them, themselves you to take your blessing. They are calling themselves you to take what belongs to you. But that is what Jacob did. He took the blessing that was not his. He took the, the blessing for Esau. Because of food. Esau was called Edom. Edom. Someone with appetite. Someone who is greedy with food. Someone who is, is like, I don't know. Praise be the Lord Jesus. So when the father asked, what's, what's your name? Who are you? He said, I'm your son. Your elder son, Esau. He lied. People are lying to make things come together. People are lying to make ends connect. People are lying. But some are lying using your own name, using your own identity to destroy you, to take what belongs to you. But today, stand your ground, be courageous, be firm, and say to God, I will stand and I will resist whatever is coming against me until God exalts me at appropriate time. Praise God, church. Hallelujah. I know someone is listening. I know this gospel is going to someone. They have been stealing your rights. They have been stealing your rights. Or not even that. You have been selling your rights because of better things. Just a night sleeping with a man, you sell your right. Just a night sleeping with a, 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 a girl, you sell your right. Just by uh, going to, witch, to witchcraft, to witch doctors, you sell your right. Just simple things, rumor mongering, you sell your right. Backbiting, cheating, stealing, killing, you sell your right. But today, the man, the angel of God asked Jacob, what is your name? This time Jacob talked his true identity. He, he, he talked his true identity. Uh, 
I, did, I mean, he, he said his exact name. He said, I am Jacob. This is the time when the man said, Today you will no longer be called Jacob, but you will be called Israel because you have wrestled with God and you have overcome. People will steal you and they will pray and things will change. But I want to tell you, don't allow someone to take what belongs to you, to take your destiny. Check the group you are staying with. Check the people you are with. People are not good, like the way you think. People, they are looking for their own benefits. They are looking for the, what is good to them. Hallelujah, church. I want to encourage you today. Start praying like never known. Start fasting like never before. Start knowing that someone is busy uh, pursuing you, your rights. Start knowing that someone is busy looking for, for what to chew from you. Someone is looking for always to put you down. They are grabbing you. They are making, they are fighting, they are fighting for your rights. They want to take them. They want to strangle you. They want to entangle you with a problem so that they can take what is your, what belongs to you. Don't be like Esau with a single meal. He despised and sold off his birthright. Stand strong, my brother. Stand strong, my sister. Don't lose hope. Stay firm. Stay focused as you pray and, and fast. God will come. God will rescue you. God will heal you. God will change you. You will be well. It shall be well with you. May the God good bless you. When you are taking a good decision, so that you remember the decision you are going to take, it will determine your, the, the difference you will make. It will determine your character. They say, tell me the group you are with. I will tell you the, your character. People will determine you. People will identify you. People will understand your character with the help of the people you are, you are associating with, with the help of the group of people you are with, with the way you speak, with the way you take yourself. My brother, do you want to perish? Don't perish. Do you want to die? It's not your time to die. This is your time to make a turn around, to refuse each and every group, each and every <coughs> excuse me, person who is trying to snatch, to grab, to steal, to take what belongs to you. Esau did not recognize this one. And when he recognized it, when he came into his senses, it was too late. My sister, don't allow it to be late. Because by the time you come to your senses, you will be pregnant. You will be HIV positive. You will be beaten. You will have no eyes. You will be, they will have taken you, you, your properties, the, the witch, doc, witch, witch doctors. They, you will have gone away from your you, you first faith. You will have lost the first love you had with, with Jesus. You will have lost your relationship with Jesus. You will have separated from your husband, from your wife. You will, your father will have made you a bastard. I mean, before... It's too late. Before you, you regret, before you claim what belongs to you, even if you with tears, come back to your senses, say enough is enough, say no to this one, and be resistant, stay stronger in the face, hold what is yours, take it, pray like never known, keep yourself uh, enclosed in the word of God, Immerse yourself in the precious blood that was said in Calvary Hill. All will be well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I salute you all who are watching, who are commenting, who are listening, who are sharing this, uh, this message and who are liking. Be blessed as we pray. Heavenly Father, give us wisdom so that we can understand your will is. Give us understanding so that we can internalize and use the sense of this to design good from bad and we go with good so that we can be blessed. Many people are outside there looking for ways to put us down. But help us, Heavenly Father. Strengthen us, Heavenly Father. Don't allow it to happen. Help my sister. Help my brother. Help my dad and my mom. Let them reach their destiny. Let them have their birthrights. Let them have their rights. Let them stand in their positions. Let them be born again. Let nothing snatch, steal, grab, take what belongs to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Exalt them. 
bless them, give them life and life in abundance. Give them the Holy Spirit to lead them in all. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. May the good God bless you. May the good God bless you. Protect you.